Meghan and Harry held talks to buy Mel Gibson's £12 million mansion but never closed a deal. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were about to buy Mel Gibson's mansion before they decided to not purchase the property, it has been reported. The former Sussex couple were said to be initially keen on the home, with its spacious grounds including five acres of land and access to a private beach club membership. However, a source told The Sun that lengthy talks were held before any decision was made. The source said, there were conversations between brokers for Mel and brokers for Meghan and Harry. The talks were preliminary and they never got close to finalizing a deal. I'm not sure who ended the talks, Mel's house has been on and off the market for some time. Meghan and Harry have recently moved to LA after they initially relocated to Canada, where the Duke is reported to have been the happiest he's ever been. They are now focusing their search for a home in the exclusive enclave of Malibu, an area where Diana spent a period of time living with Dottie Fade. Last week Los Angeles estate agent Andrea Pilot shared an Instagram that reported Meghan and Harry had purchased Mel Gibson's home. She wrote, Big news. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle buy Mel Gibson's house in Malibu. The post was soon deleted, and nothing else was said of the matter. The gorgeous Seaview mansion had five bedrooms, walk-in closets, an exceptional chef's kitchen, a gym and two ocean view swimming pools. The property was previously owned by the X-Files star David Duchovny. It comes as a source claimed to the Daily Mail that the couple had planned an A-list event to celebrate their son's first birthday on May 6. However, they have now had to rethink their plans as Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti announced that social gatherings will continue to be prohibited. In the U.S., there are currently 633,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus, as well as more than 27,000 deaths. It is now thought that Meghan and Harry could host a quiet celebration at their million-dollar Malibu rented home instead. The insider said, Los Angelinos have been told that social distancing remains a priority and parties or gatherings of any sort are out of the question. There is no way that Harry and Meghan could or would even consider throwing a party for family and friends. As special as Archie turning one is, now is the time to take safety more seriously than ever. Their close-knit friend group will have plenty of other opportunities moving forward to come together. There are other events lined up throughout the rest of the year. It's a shame because Archie's birthday, without the lockdown, offered the perfect opportunity to host a Welcome to L.A. bash for them and their friends. Just last week April 19 was the date restrictions would set to be lifted, but that's not the case anymore for safety reasons. Meghan and Harry both have many friends in Los Angeles, including the Clooney's, Oprah Winfrey and Elton John. The couple have been spending time helping the Project Angel Food Mission in Los Angeles, which delivers meals to those most vulnerable. They brought food to those who are suffering from chronic illnesses including HIV-AIDS and cancer residing in the West Hollywood neighborhood. Hollywood House and Prince Harry and Meghan scrap plans to buy Mel Gibson's £12 million five-bedroom mansion in Malibu. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry held talks over Mel Gibson's Malibu mansion but walked away without buying it, the Sun can reveal. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been linked to the Lethal Weapon star's pound 12 million home overlooking the Pacific Ocean. The couple were said to be interested in the snapping up of the stunning five-bedroom home, which came with five acres of grounds and a private beach club membership. But a Hollywood source told The Sun, there were conversations between brokers for Mel and brokers for Meghan and Harry. The talks were preliminary and they never got close to finalizing a deal. I'm not sure who ended the talks, Mel's house has been on and off the market for some time. Meghan, 38, and Harry, 35, have relocated to California from their pound 11 million bolt hole on remote Vancouver Island, in Canada. Following the Megxa drama, they were reportedly focusing their house search on the Malibu neighborhood, 30 miles from Los Angeles. Andrea Pilot, who works for real estate firm Compass in L.A., posted on Instagram last week claiming that Meg and Harry had bought the Malibu mansion of 64-year-old Gibson. She wrote, Big news. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle buy Mel Gibson's house in Malibu.
M's pilot took her post down when contacted by The Sun on Sunday and declined to comment further. The 6,758 square feet home, in Malibu's Carbon Mesa area, overlooks both the Pacific Ocean in front of it and a green canyon behind it. It has five bedrooms, five acres of grounds, walk-in closets, an exceptional chef's kitchen, a gym and two ocean view swimming pools. The mansion, which used to be owned by the X-Files star David Duchovny, also comes with a membership to a beach club. Brandon Williams, who had listed Gibson's home on the website of his firm Williams & Williams Estates Group, declined to comment last night. A representative for Mad Max star Gibson was unreachable.